such a powerful statement that Ephesians chapter 2 makes. When it talks about the middle wall of petition that has been taken down through the work of the ministry of Christ Jesus and the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit into her now as believers, we can come directly into the throne room of God and the Holy Spirit literally delivers what's on your heart into the presence of God and God responds through the vehicle of the Holy Spirit. It is such a powerful, powerful thing to realize that. And to understand that we can have a wonderful peace in our heart because we deal with the issue of sin. The Word of God has said it's very, very clear. We've all sinned. The Apostle Paul says this. We've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. But if he says if we confess our sins, this is uh, the epistle of John. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness so the petition has been taken down we can come into the presence of God we can deal with the issue of sin in our lives in an essence from the contrast that the apostle Paul gives us beginning in the first few, few verses of Ephesians chapter 2 where he talks about this person who walked according to the, uh, the course of the world the prince and the power of the air no longer follows that path, but they follow the spiritual path that the Spirit of God leads us because we become aware that that is a reality. And so, in essence, we become a new man, born again, as Jesus said in John chapter 3, born again with a whole new perspective of life and that wonderful peace. As Jesus uses the expression, that peace, it passes all understanding. It's, it's above human comprehension and the wonderful fact that that peace can become a part of you and it just dwells in your spirit and you live and you have a great confidence in life because you realize that you're being led by the Spirit of God. And I remember a, a pastor that I knew one time used the expression, he said, the peace of God is your referee. I love the expression. The peace of God is your referee. If you have that peace in your heart, that you're walking by the spiritual walk and the spiritual life and you're being led by the Spirit of God because you are aware that you are spiritual and you live in a spiritual world. And now you understand that you have access into the presence of God to talk to Him. Share your life, talk about your burdens, and allow him to minister to you. And as the expression is used here in the book of Ephesians chapter 2, you're no longer a stranger to God. You're no longer a stranger from the commonwealth of Israel, he said. You are a person who has a, a direct knowledge and relationship with our Heavenly Father. Church, there is nothing more precious in all this world than that to know that you have that access to God. The middle wall of petition has been taken down because Jesus proclaimed victory. It is finished from the cross of Calvary. This is Pastor Jack King with a gospel on the radio broadcast.